What's up guys, it's Instinct here, and today I'll be showing you guys my 8th banner template, and I'll also show you guys how to edit it in Cinema 40 and Photoshop. Be sure to watch the entire video through. With all that being said, let's get into the video. So what you guys want to do is you guys want to click the link in the description, it will bring you to a page where you guys can pay the two dollars to get the banner template so once you guys have the banner template you guys can go ahead and download all the files so once you have everything downloaded go ahead and open up the font double click on the font and go ahead and just click install this will install the font now if you already have this font which you probably don't you don't have to do this but just go ahead and install it anyway just be safe so once you guys have the font installed what you guys want to do is you guys want to open up the cinema 40 file and it will open up the banner template in Cinema 40. So once you guys have this opened, go ahead and go ahead and click on text and change the text to whatever you want. So I'm just gonna do a uh, dollar ninety nine since that's how much the template is, and go ahead and just click anywhere. Now, what you guys also want to do is go ahead and go to the atom array right here and you want to go ahead and change the other text to the same thing you did before so 199 and that should be good and then we want to do it once more in the Griebler so go ahead and click this and go ahead and go to mo text right here and change this to 199 There you guys go. So, I forgot to mention that you guys are going to need the plugins, the Reaper plugin, and the Reaper 2.0 plugin, and yeah. So, I'll leave a link in the description on how you guys can get those. They are very easy to download, so if you guys don't have those downloaded, go ahead and get that. So, once you guys have that, and you guys change the uh, text, what you guys can do is go ahead and open up the Griebler and open up the Atom Array and hold control on your keyboard and just click all the text so that you'll select all the text and what you guys can do is you guys can kind of move it around to center it a little more so just kind of mess around with it bring this to the left more and bring this down kind of like that to make it slightly more centered you guys get the picture, but I'm honestly just going to leave it how it is. Actually, you know, I'm going to move it. Just go ahead and move it until you guys get a good position. Um, it's going to be a little bit tricky since the angle is weird. So I kind of like this position where it's kind of going through the nine hole. Like, you know, like through the nine. So once you guys get a good position, what you guys can do is go ahead and... Do something really quick and go ahead and hold on this and go to render region. And what you guys want to do is basically just render out a small portion of the uh, template and make sure it is working. There is a chance that the materials might not work. If the materials do not work, go ahead and I'll show you guys how to fix that. So, alright guys, so if the materials aren't working, what you guys need to do is you guys need to go to content browser over here. Click on that and then double click on presets and it will open up the presets. Now these are all the material packs I have installed, but you guys won't have these. But what you guys want to do is go ahead and find the lib40 file, which is named materials. And you guys just want to drag that right in. So go ahead and drag that right in. It'll take a few seconds. All right, guys. So once you have dragged it in, you guys should get this so once you guys have this go ahead and click on the lava mayhem material hold shift click on the white G material and just drag these in like so and now that should fix it so now what you guys want to do is kind of replace them so white G put it over the white G one and you know do it for the other one as well make sure the arrow is pointing down and then same thing with the Mars one Go ahead and just keep replacing all of them like so. Again, my materials work, so 
I don't really need to do this, but you guys get the point and then go with Lava and Mayhem and just keep dropping it on all the landscapes. Alright, so once you guys have done all that, you guys should be good in Cinema 4D. So what you guys can do is go ahead and render it. So go ahead and click this button right here. Go ahead and click save and then just uh, choose a place to save it as. I always save it in my renders folder and name it whatever you want. So I'm just going to name it $1.99 like that actually i'm not sure if symbols are allowed i'm just gonna name this banner template 8 tutorial and once you guys give it a name go ahead and just close this out and click this button and it will start to render now once it is done rendering i'll see you guys in photoshop all right so once you guys are in photoshop go ahead and open it so i already have it opened but what you guys can do is go to file go to open and go to wherever you saved it and open it. So for example, I have it on my desktop and it is called banner template eight and then go ahead and double click on this and it'll open it. But again, I already have it open. So once you guys have it open, what you guys can do is hide this text layer. I labeled everything so you guys know what everything is. So go ahead and hide this text layer and open up the render. So go to open and I saved it to my renders folder. So go ahead and navigate to wherever you guys saved it as. So I recommend saving it in pictures, but I actually have a renders folder that I use to save it. So I'm just gonna open it. All right, so it is right here. So I'm just gonna go ahead and double click on it and it will open up in Photoshop. So once it is opened, you guys can go ahead and just drag it right into the template, drop it right in and make sure it is um, either above or below the text. In fact, you can actually go ahead and delete that text and just make sure it is under the shadow but above the background. So once it is, go ahead and drag it towards the middle, kind of like this. Hold down Control T or Command T if you're on Mac. Hold Shift and just make it smaller a little bit. Just keep going, kind of like that maybe. All right, I'm gonna hit Control Z because I let go too early. So basically, if you don't hold Control Z, you can get something funky like that. So I'm gonna hit Control Z and hold down Shift, and what that will do is proportion it. And what you guys want to do, actually, that's too small. What you guys want to do is just you know size this down a little bit, kind of like that. Let go first, and then go ahead and click. Actually, go ahead and drag this into the middle, and then go ahead and tilt it kind of like that so it's kind of like kind of like on a slight diagonal kind of like that maybe and then drag it up so that looks good but I'm gonna make it slightly smaller though something kind of like that and go ahead and click enter and then drag this into the middle kind of like that go ahead and you guys can move your arrow you guys can use your arrow keys to move it one by one. Go ahead and make sure you're in the selection tool, by the way. Otherwise, the arrow keys won't do anything. All right, so once you guys have it in the middle, kind of like this, maybe going to the left a little bit. What you guys can do is make sure you're on the render layer and go to filter and go to sharpen and click sharpen. It will make it sharpened and then Hold down Control or Command J. Uh, control if you're on Windows, Command if you're on Mac. Go to the bottom layer and go to Filter and go to Blur and go to Gaussian Blur and put this to about like 50 pixels. This will add like a nice little glow. Go ahead and click OK. Select the top layer, like the main render, and hit Control or Command J once more. Go ahead, select the middle one, go to filter, go to distort, and go to ripple. Once you're here, go ahead and just drag this to like 400%, and go ahead and click OK. This will add this nice little kind of like ripple effect like on the outside edges. But what you guys can do is select the top layer and drag down the passage to like 80%. And what this will do is it will basically make this see-through a little bit, so you can kind of see the ripples through it. 
it just looks really cool in my opinion like this so all right so that is pretty much it so your banner is pretty much done now what you guys can do is go ahead and save it go to file go to save as um you guys can save the document if you want but there's really no point to um go ahead and select png and go ahead and select pictures and save it to your pictures folder and name this whatever you want so your name banner so i'm just gonna do um one nine or er, uh banner template a tutorial kind of like that right and go ahead and save it so that is it for this video guys if you guys like this video please make sure to drop a comment like and subscribe and i'll see you in the next video guys peace I have been